This is a relatively new area. A lot of the increased importance that has come from this is started in 2022 because of the Inflation Reduction Act. The Inflation Reduction Act had a huge green energy component. Um, and the idea was the Biden administration wanted to accelerate the shift from traditional to renewable energy. Today, renewable energy isn't as cost efficient as traditional sources. The Biden administration wanted to create tax incentives to make the ROI on renewable energy higher than it is for traditional energy sources like oil and gas, which would help drive investment towards these new sources. When they passed the Inflation Reduction Act, they added tax incentives from 2022 to 2035. When they passed the bill, the Congressional Budget Office scored the bill saying that it would estimate that the bill would cost the government $369 billion in tax incentives over the next 12 years through 2035. A year into this, Goldman Sachs' estimate is that uptake has been so high that it's going to cost the federal government roughly $1.2 trillion. And just to call out, that's a massive increase specific to the federal government. Many states have their own tax incentives that add additional benefits. The next logical question is people are curious, what are actually the tax incentives that are offered? And there's really two tax incentives. One is tax credits. And just as a quick overview on tax credits, Tax credits are like a coupon against your federal taxes. It applies to your federal taxes, not your state taxes. Tax credits can offset what you owe in federal taxes. $100 in tax credits offset $100 of federal taxes. These tax credits are known as investment tax credits or ITCs. These in investment tax credits are essentially valued as a percentage of a project value, or in this case, a solar project value. So if the solar project is worth a million dollars, the federal government is giving you these ITCs or tax credits at some rate between 30 to 70% of the project value. So if it's 40%, that means on a million dollar project, there's $400,000 of tax credits, which means you can theoretically offset up to $400,000 of your federal taxes. All these tax credits apply in the first year. So again, that $400,000 tax savings would apply the same year that you purchased and started running the, that project in that business. The other key big tax incentive is depreciation. Depreciation works a little bit differently from tax credits in a couple of ways. One is the tax savings, and the other part is how quickly you realize it. Depreciation works at the federal and state level, so there's both benefits there. But depreciation doesn't offset what you owe in taxes $1 to $1. Depreciation at $1 of depreciation reduces your income by $1. So that means... If you have $10 of depreciation and your income is $100, your income goes from $100 to $90. And let's say you're at a 50% tax rate, that's really lowering your taxes from $50 to $45. Because $100 of income times 50% or $90 of income times 50%, that's your tax savings. Your tax savings are your depreciation times your marginal tax rate. You get this at both the federal and state level, and you're going to have different marginal tax rates for both. They also apply differently. Depreciation at the federal level follows bonus depreciation. Currently, so 60% applies in year one, and the remainder applies in years two through six. It's spread out, not exactly a flat schedule. At the state level, most states do not follow bonus depreciation. So most states, it's a fed, effectively flat line of 20% a year, four or five years. It's not accelerated in the first year. Thank you.